Hey, what's up, y'all? I know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Um, today I'm here to give you my truth on Adam Twenty Two. Um, he's an interviewer, a podcaster, journalist, whatever you want to call him as well. I'm gonna give you a little backstory on him. You know, get you updated on who he really is, where he's from, just to give you updated. So when I talk about what I talk about, you can understand what I mean, and um, we can fully get through it. So we are gonna start off like this. Um, Adam Twenty Two. His real name is Adam John Grant Mason. He was born November 24th, 1983 in Nashua, New Hampshire, and he's 36. Um, he's an internet personality and also an executive producer, I think for Atlantic. I'm not really sure. Um, nah, matter of fact, I'm more than sure so I'm Atlantic. Mostly known for his podcast, No Jumper, which was a website that was started through Tumblr, started by a guy that's name is um, George Potter. Um, like Harry Potter, it's George Potter. But the thing is, the reason why Adam's a part of it so much is because he actually financed it. All right. Um, he was actually a BMX writer for um, Rider First, where he gained his name, clout, whatever you want to say. In 2006, he saw a website called The Come Up, and it became a very popular BMX website. All right. So there was another site he created that also became a little more popular. It was a little more urban. It's called On Some, you know. S H Shigani I C, and also he had a store for it on Melrose that catered to nothing but BMX clothing. All right, and it was doing good as well. Um, I think uh, what is it? His girlfriend's in a relationship with Nina the Plug, who is an adult film star. She actually I right, too. I give him that. I ain't even gonna hate on her. She had a nice little piece of work. Um, he's been messing with her for a good minute now. Um, he labels himself an atheist, and he have countless of times where he expressed that he's not a believer in God. So. That might explain a lot his, his, his um, damn interview skills, what he talk about. All right, so now let's get into it. Now, I did a video on DJ Vlad already. Um, it's similar to this one. These guys are like two peas of a pod. Adam is a little more subtle with it because I guess like he seems a little more timid and scary when he asking these crazy questions. Whereas Vlad, you know, he's a little more, you know, a little more known. He's a little more out there. Um, I guess he don't really care. So he says it asks whatever he wants. Now, Adam had an interview with Dame Dash recently where Dame Dash kept calling him out on his bull crap. Dame is one of them guys where you had to come correct. And um he's not gonna go for those corny questions. So every time he asked something foolish or came with his fake facts, Dame definitely put him in his place. And you could tell that interview was a little awkward. Even after the interview um interview, they both I guess went on their own platform to talk about the interview and how it went. Um, I'm gonna put that in the, um, in the description box below so you can um, check it out on yourself. What else? Um, I don't know. These guys are the same ones, right? That this is what kills me with both of them, DJ Vlad and um, Adam Twenty Two. They antagonize and humiliate their guests with their personal views and try to paint it as if it's the culture or the people that wants to know or who's saying it. You see what I'm saying? It's just that Adam Twenty Two does it in a less intriguing way. So it's kind of a little more suspect and you can pick up on it. And not only that, he's not, you know, he's not as big as Vlad. But like I said, he's also another one that do the same thing. They two peas in a pod. They ask incriminating questions. Uh, Adam, he tries to see how far he could go. And as soon as you like put him in his place, he kind of stops. Whereas Vlad, Vlad just keeps going and going and going and going. Now, Adam and Vlad, they got similar styles. They do these clickbait titles, you know, when it comes to their videos. Adam more so, he, he trolls to me with his foolishness, and he had an incident, two incidents, where his store got robbed two times within three days. Now, to be honest with you, I think the store incident that happened with him was fake. I could be wrong. Uh, two incidents happened where his store had guys come and they tried to do, you know, rob the store, I guess, whatever. Um, he has a store, matter of fact, that same store that's on Melrose, like I stated before not too long ago. Um, like I said, two different incidents where two different people came, tried to rob the store. Uh, I don't know if it's like vandalized. I don't know. You know, um, and I don't know. One of the guys came actually, and he was in the back. When um when he came, try to rob it, whatever he tried to do, Adam was actually in the back. Um, but like I said, I don't know. These days, a lot of these guys, a lot of these celebs, a lot of these journalists, podcasters, they got these six nine tactics where they troll for the views and recognition. And they shoot up hoping that one of these outlets pick up and, you know, give them some type of clout. I don't know. Nothing is, like, organic these days. Like I said, when you watch the video of these incidents, I'm going to put it um in the comments. I said in the comments. I keep saying the comments. I'm going to put it in the description box below so y'all can check it out for yourself. 
and y'all come to a conclusion whether you feel it's real or not. I could be wrong, but I'll leave the links below so y'all can see it yourselves. Other than that, like I said, this isn't a long video at all. I'm just tired of these guys exploiting artists, antagonizing them, and profiting off the same people they're bashing. It's too many guys who aren't from our culture as profiting off of it enough, let alone someone openly talking mess about it, downplaying these artists. And some of them, I ain't gonna lie, it's some of the artists' fault too, because some of them just sit there looking stupid. Just foolish and stupid. One thing I could say, he's not as bad as Vlad, though. <laughs> I keep going back to Vlad because Vlad, he disappointed me. Like I said, I did a longer video on him, you know. Um, also, Adam is not too incriminating when he asks us. He just asks stupid questions and, like I said, try to downplay the culture a lot with his foolish questions. With the incident that happened with Dame Dash, when he tried to say, oh, well, black people want uh, that, that, when they were talking about Kanye. And, like I said, Dame Dash checked him quick, quick as hell. He said, how you know what um, black people want? And like I explained this in the DJ Vlad video, that's like me um, saying what the Jewish community want. I'm not a part of the Jewish community. I got no dealings with the Jewish community. I'm not in the Jewish community. Now, granted, Adam22, you know, he does his podcast. So, you know, he's a little tapped in, but you don't know what us as a culture really want. You're not asking. You're just saying it and you're using your views. You're using us to paint your view in you know, put it on your platform and say that the people or the culture or this wants that when all in all is really you. All right. So I don't know. Like I said, him and Vlad fall in the same category. So mm -hmm. and also the funny part is I think Machine Gun Kelly actually slapped him for his comments that he made um, concerning him on one of his podcast episodes. All right. So this it just goes to show you, man, a lot of these journalists, a lot of these podcasters, they don't have your um, best interests at heart. They just want you to come through. They're going to ask you foolish questions, put you on the spot. They want to get a reaction out of you. And just so they could boost their ratings and get clickbait. So they could go in the shade room or ball alert or world star or say cheese or whichever one of these outlets to where that's going to boost their views and all that foolishness, man. They don't really be in it for the artists, for the culture. They only really ask, you know, questions that people want to know. They just try to exploit it. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment box below. Am I over exaggerating? Do you agree or disagree? Just let me know. Because I could be bugging. You know, you know how my mind get. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications so you're notified every time I upload new content. Also, let me know some video, you, um, some video, videos that you guys are interested in seeing. See, I'm bugging. I got too much coffee. Um, whether it's hip-hop, current events, self-improvement. Um, you might need to hear something inspirational. No matter what it is, let me know. I'm here for you guys. You know, if you want to know whatever type of video you want to hear, like I said, I'm here for you guys. We can do it. That's all. I'm out.